this season in particular really feels like a fun victory lap for all of us to, to get to end the show on our own terms. It's so special. This season, uh, from what the five that I've seen so far in part one, you guys need to pick a top six for the Sakai Taikai. And you're filming these battle scenes, there's a lot of chasing, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of chaos. But um, does it up the pressure for you guys when you know that you're going head to head with the Blue Beetle? Is that, uh, is that oh. intense? I was actually more threatened by the chickens. Um, <laughs> but I did love them. I got to pick one up and I was very happy about it. Well, I, he doesn't have the suit, so. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> what is he without the suit? So that's, yeah, Nothing. it's not the Blue Beetle, it's just Jaime. That's right. <laughs> he has really good footwork, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid of this. Yeah, all where? six of them? <laughs> it did build it up a bit, oh, though. Oh, yeah. I was scared of Sholo coming back from Blue Beetle. And then that's we right. realized he's just him. Cholo at heart. <laughs> yeah, that's and right. We're all on the same level. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I took you a hot second. You're like, yes, what, yes. Wait, what are, wait, what are we talking yeah. about? <laughs> we're all ganging up on Cholo now. <laughs> I'm really excited for this uh, this year because, I mean, I'm never. It never ceases to amaze me the the love for this franchise and these characters and what uh, you know I've been blessed to be a part of and the the. I was almost said the younger I get, the older I get, the more I, I realize and, and kind of embrace and, and respect the, um, the, the responsibility, if you will, the sort of, you know, the fans have can never let this thing go away. They have never let these characters go far from their hearts and minds, and, and now we bring new generations to it, so I feel you know, empowered to, to keep that going. Um, certainly not wanting to overstay the welcome, but, um, you know, it's finding organic ways to continue the story of this character and, um, and um, you know, bring entertainment and joy to people in a, at a time that sometimes the world does not offer that. So it's uh, really wonderful. It was great to direct this season. I'm really proud of episode 603 and, and uh, the entire season and um, look forward to what happens next year with the motion picture. I mean, you know, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Perfectly said, I, I love all of that. Um, you know, UG, we see so much more of you interacting with these two this season, all three senseis working together with their different styles. Um, what did you enjoy most about strengthening uh, your bond with the team like this? Well, both, these guys bring a different dynamic to the show and uh you know working with with ralph as a as an actor has always been a treat uh and now working with him as a as a director for episode three it was uh, pretty fabulous uh, just he's an actor's director so he's very precise in what he wants and his vision and so it's very easy to understand where he's coming from and also Billy, uh, he brings that wild card kind of crazy side and, and so it's always unpredictable, which I love. And so I think there's like this explosiveness in any scene that we have. And I think that's what I enjoy is the unpredictability. And you know, he's, he's such a wonderful actor that it makes everything so easy. Josh, when you see like Sholo's rise as the Blue Beetle, let's say, and you see this group's bond together that continues even when the cameras aren't rolling, what does that mean to you? We met them when they were, you know, we met Sholo when he was 16. Um, you know, we met some of these kids like Griffin when they were 10. Um, and they've, you know, really grown up and matured on this show, whether from, you know, kid to young adult or from young adult to full-fledged adult. Uh, it's amazing to watch them just mature as performers, uh, see them just uh, evolve as just wonderful people, you know, over the course of the, the seven years that we've known them and the six seasons that we've made, uh, the relationships they've made with each other, the tight bond they all share. Uh, you know, for, for a show that goes on this long, it's really encouraging not to see people get jaded. Um, nobody kind of just strolls up to work like, you know, oh, another day at the karate factory. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're putting in the work. They are wanting to be stronger and better, 
more vibrant, um, you know, really dig into the emotional scenes, really, you know, hit home runs with the comedy scenes. And obviously the martial arts has just gotten taken up one, you know, you know, one degree uh, more every season. And, you know, this season, maybe a hundred degrees. Um, so it's, it's just been, it's just been an absolutely lovely experience working with them all. It's meant the world to me. I mean, this Cobra Kai, will remain the single biggest kind of change in my life. This project has totally changed the trajectory of everything for me and very similar to like the experience in middle school and high school, I made some friends that I'm sure I'll have for the rest of my life. So it feels very close to my heart and also, you know, with, you know, Blue Beetle and School Spirits and you know, all the other projects that our, our cast members have gotten the chance to do in between this, like it, it is, this season in particular, really feels like a fun victory lap for all of us to, to get to end the show on our own, uh, like on our own terms. Mm -hmm. it's, so, it's so special, like you mentioned. You know, and whether it's an exploding roof, um, or some exploding <laughs> emotions. You know, we see a lot um, of Billy from Johnny this season. Uh, you know, he also gets a job working with Daniel um, in at the uh, auto group. Do we think that things are, are looking up, you know, for, for Johnny this season that we're, we're going to be moving to like a better path where rooms aren't collapsing and he's about to be a new dad again. He's going to slumber parties. He's, he's really trying his best to <laughs> think that things are on the up. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> synopsis. <laughs> you know, this is actually probably as sad as it is, probably the best his life's been since 1983. <laughs> um, you know, uh, throwing summer parties, having a baby girl, working at Larusso Auto, which I think is just so funny, just because the the first time he sees Daniel is at Larusso Auto at the very beginning of the show, and now there he is coming in, and he misunderstands Daniel telling him he should get a real nine to five as an offer to work there, and then comes in and sells a car. And um, yeah, you know, I, Johnny's definitely trying to provide for his family. There's always a floor about the dropout for Johnny, though. There's always, you know, it's, uh, right now it's peacetime in the valley. Jacob, you post so many um, Instagram stories and, sh and posts with uh, the whole team together. So I want to know, like, who's the best carpool <laughs> pickup? Who's the most reliable <laughs> getting to set? And, and who's the best <laughs> hang? Oh, the, the best hang. The oh. wrong person about oh. hang? Most reliable getting to set is for sure Tanner. Uh, or Gianni. <laughs> Thanks. No, Thanks. not Gianni. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll say it's minutes, Tanner. <laughs> every day. Don't every be, single day. Yeah, but, yeah, but Gianni's late <laughs> sometimes <laughs> too. Yeah, but the Only problem is you, out you getting late is the problem because you <laughs> your Who hair takes the longest out of everybody. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who is you the mess best up the train? Best I, think hang? The best. I feel like we have a best time when we're like when, when it's we're, all together because we're, all, we're together. all a bunch of different yeah. like very different individuals. I think the best hang is Mo. One. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Dog. So true. Mo, he's yeah. wrong. Mo and I have just great times. I have to be there in order for you to hang out with us. No. The soul of a little Victorian You need him a lot. He's crazy. Yeah, he does. He looks like a little <laughs> Mo has lived, has Mo has lived lots of Although, lives yeah. before. We, we, did, we did spray my dog's hair according to like what mohawk color Jacob had to support Hawk. So. Yeah, Mo is number one fan for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Best hang? Yeah. I probably gotta say my roommate. Hey, let's stop. Right. <laughs> like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.